Hey guys, it's Alexa and I am back with another book haul. Woohoo! Okay, so as you guys know, I am trying not to buy books this September. I'm technically unbanned. The only time I can buy books is for events and stuff like that, so I have been good. Um, but these are still books that I got in the mail and I am so grateful and so blessed because a lot of people have been really, really generous with me. Okay, so first I got two more birthday gifts and these are from my friend Hannah of So Obsessed With and she got me The Blue Castle by Ellen Montgomery which I've never read before and I just love this cover. I remember seeing Hannah reading it. She actually reread it after she bought it for me and I actually look forward to it because I know she really liked it. Um, and she also got me to help start or continue my collection um, a copy of A Little Princess by Frances Hodgson Burnett. This is the pretty new version with the illustration by Anna Bond of Rifle Paper Company and it is so pretty in person. It's so small too and I, I love it. I just I want to read it again just so I can hold this pretty book and stare at it. Thank you so much Hannah for your gifts. I'm so so excited to read The Blue Castle and to have A Little Princess in my collection. Um, I also borrowed a book from my friend Rachel Apelocelli. Um, I'm on a mission to try and read more authors whose last names begin with letters I don't have yet in my review archive, so she let me Never Let Me Go by Kazuo Ishiguro. Um, I've been meaning to read this for a long time. I, I have, I just never got around to it, and I kind of want to, and then I kind of want to watch the movie, so you guys are going to have to watch out for that because I'm probably going to do a book review slash movie review. So thank you, Rachel. Um, and I also got two books for review. I got um, Trial by Fire by Josephine Angelini. I wasn't sure if I wanted to read this one at first because I don't actually read a lot of witch books, but Rachel read it and she really liked it. And I know um, Lauren from Love is on a Triangle really liked it. Um, and I'm really curious, so we'll just have to see how I feel about that one. And I also got Girls Like Us by Gail Giles. It's about these two special ed um, high school graduates and they are sort of meant or sort of made to be roommates in the real world so it's kind of interesting because both of them have different personalities apparently and I just couldn't resist because it sounds very different so I'm looking forward to reading this soon. Thank you! Alright, and here are the remainder of the books that I got myself for my birthday last month that are coming. I actually have a few more coming in but let's start with these. First, I got the UK hardcover of Daughter of Smoke and Bone by Lainey Taylor. Um, if you guys have not read the Daughter of Smoke and Bone series, it is amazing. I love the way it's written. It's so beautiful. And I just could not resist the UK hardcover, which is why I ended up with this. And I also have the UK hardcover of Dreams of Gods and Monsters by Lainey Taylor. Um, it's the third book in the series. I also love this one. It made me cry. Um, and it's really big, too. It's kind of chunky also could not resist um, the way it looks and I'm so happy I have it. I'm still waiting on the second one but I do have a friend who generously offered to give me her copy so that I would have the complete hardcover set and I am so excited about that. Um, the next book is a recommendation from my friend Estelle of Rather Be Reading and she told me I absolutely must read Life No Other by Una LaMarche. Um, I also know that my friend Gabby of Queen Ella B Reads has read this and loved it. I know Jen of Pop goes the reader has read and loved it so I'm very much looking forward to reading it for myself and falling in love with it as well. And the last four books I'm going to show you guys are a testament to how much I fangirl over this author and I'm sure you guys already know who it is. Um, it's Sarah J Maas and I have the UK edition of The Assassin's Blade which is the collection of novellas. Um, I know that you could read this potentially after the first book but I feel like and this is something a lot of people have recommended, you should probably read this one first because it's a great way to sort of get immersed in the world and get to know the characters, especially Selena. Um, I also picked up at the Airfire launch party at Books of Wonder a US paperback of Crown of Midnight. Um, probably has one of my favorite scenes in this entire series, not gonna lie. Um, I just, I love it. I just needed it to complete my collection. I also got a uh, copy of the new hardcover, US hardcover of Throne of Glass. It now has the illustrated cover which means it matches the rest of the series back there and I think that's awesome. Um, guys, you already know I love this series. It is one of my absolute favorites and you should definitely get it, especially now that they're all 
matchy matchy and they'll be pretty. <laughs> and last but not least, obviously, since it was the Air of Fire launch party, I just had to be there to snag a copy of Air of Fire by Sarah J. Maas, which is the latest in the Throne of Glass series. Um, I have no words for how much I love this book. I, I got the opportunity to read it early, and I just, my mind was completely blown. It's incredible the way that it made me feel so emotional and how it opened up the entire Throne of Glass universe into something completely different. Um, I love the characters even more, and I just, I honestly, at this point, I trust Sarah. Wherever she's gonna take us, I'm sure it's gonna be the right path for these characters. Um, if you didn't know already, we, we being me, Jazz of Fiction and Fiction and Fiction, Katie of Polished Page Turners, Judith of Paper Riot, and Rachel of Hello Jelly, and we're all hosting um, 13 Days of Ash and Fire, which is the Air of Fire blog tour. We've had a lot of posts so far, and we're actually going to be wrapping up this coming week, so you guys better check it out. In my post, which is the last post on the tour, I'll be including a wrap-up, which includes posts from everyone, so if you miss out on any, you can check it out there. And if you're interested in reading this series and want the chance to win the entire series, plus a tote bag, you can enter the giveaway on any of the participating blogs, and I'll probably include a link to that below as well. So, read it! Um, this is a gorgeous copy, by the way. I also had a couple of books on NetGalley and on Kindle, but I will probably just link to those below. So there you have it, guys. That was my haul for the past two and a half or three weeks. Um, and I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Let me know if you're interested in reading any of these, or if you have read them and think I would love them. Um, I'd love to hear what you think. And tell me what's in your book haul, or what has been in your book haul recently, and what you'll be reading. Alright, bye guys, till next time!